If the chow hall food makes you sick, then here's some smart recipes you might want to pick. Microwave magic, microwave magic, microwave magic, microwave magic. If you do not want to leave your bed, then here's something delightful to spread. Microwave magic, microwave magic, microwave magic. Microwave magic. There's some ramen and beans that just might seem better than the slop because it's canteen. Taffy and cheesecakes, forget your mistakes. So just sit back and eat it away. Are you tired of standing in the same tedious line in the CRCI chow hall? And are you tired of eating the same bland food week after week? Well, I have good news for you, my friend. Hi, my name's Scotty, and I'm the host of a little up-and-coming cooking show called Microwave Magic. Now, Microwave Magic is a cooking show that shows you step-by-step on how to cook some delicious meals and all just using the microwave, just like how it's done here in the units of CRCI. Let me elaborate further. The food here in the chow hall may be on the prison menu, but it may not be on your menu. Let's face it, it's no five-star restaurant and it probably isn't even one star. So some of the inmates have gotten very creative and whip up some seriously gourmet meals using what they have access to from the DOC commissary sheet, plus the microwave in our units. And with that, we get to eat some delicious meals rather than eating the chow hall food all the time. In this show, we get to see the geniuses behind it all making dishes like smothered burritos, nachos, cheesecake, taffy, and so, so much more. Microwave Magic is a place where different walks of life come to show you their skill, their passion, and their culture at work. And whether you're inside or outside prison, you can learn some innovative cooking tips from the chefs with our minimal ingredients. So join me, Scotty, and our magic Mike Row Wave, along with our amazing chefs and most helpful assistants here on the Inside Show. And remember, it's Microwave Magic. Disclaimer, all ingredients shown can be purchased from the DOC commissary sheet or at your local grocery store. Hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of Microwave Magic. I'm here with my guest. Jeremy. Jeremy, okay. And Jeremy, what are we making today? We're making some taffy. Taffy, okay. And so how did you learn about this dish? Well, I had a friend a few, quite a few months back. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he was making a batch one day, and he just uh, made, uh, told me that, you know, hey, you, you want to make taffy? And I was like, sure, you know. And so he ended up showing me the process of it. Mm -hmm. and after I made my first 100 batches, you know, I was like, man, I, I'm enjoying this. So right I just so kept making it on afterwards. The gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. Yep. 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 Right on. So, okay. So is this typically something you would do every day? Well, in here, yeah. But, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you got to look at your health, too. I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, this isn't a healthy, cho healthy choice to eat. But, of you know course, what I mean? Yeah. If you have a sweet tooth like me, like 24-7, yes, and much. you don't have $10 million to buy Snicker bars all day, <laughs> right. you know, I mean, this is something so to fall back a, on. It's kind of a cheap way of killing your sweet tooth. Right. And mm -hmm. how long would I usually a batch of this last? Uh, me, about 10 minutes. Me, about 10 minutes. But, you know, I okay, mean, anybody yeah. else that's normal, uh, Fair maybe, maybe, maybe a few days. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, so, without yeah. further ado, let's get into this, huh? Okay. So, uh, what are our ingredients here? All right. Pretty much, we got the creamer. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, juice, which you can use hot chocolate, too, instead, if you'd want to make chocolate taffy. Okay. And then just a little bit of water. So when you are using juice, what's typically a juice that you would use? Like, are we using, like, Kool-Aid packs? Are we using Crystal Light packs? Well, what are we going for? Well, if we're talking about uh, being in my situation, being in here in the moment, sweet cherry fusion. I okay. love that. That's the sweetest stuff that you can use, plus okay. it's crystallized sugar inside mm -hmm. of it. This is the bowl that I'm using. Just um, a regular tubbler? Yeah, yeah it's, a, okay. it's a rubber made, so, you know, it's kind of flexible, and you can kind of bang it around a little bit if you need to towards okay. the end when we're done with the process. But anyway, um, mm -hmm. you just want to make sure that whatever you put in there, you don't fill it more than halfway because okay. when you're in the process of melting everything down, it's going to bubble up in the microwave, okay. and you don't want it to bubble over the edge and then make a big mess in your microwave. So right, right. So you want to be safe, and, you know, safety comes first, so. Okay, yeah. But anyway, yep. Yeah, so I'll just put some, some of this stuff in here. Now we add the water to it. Okay. It's important when you're making taffy is you would think well man i need more water for the taffy well the microwave does most of the liquefying uh, everything in the bowl okay what it does is it melts it down so with this amount right here maybe like two to no more than three teaspoons of water okay so just like 
Boom. Boom. That right there is probably enough. Mix this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. Right here, I can see I could probably use a little bit more okay. Kool-Aid, so, so I'll put a little bit more Kool-Aid in there so that way it's not so wet in there. So almost like a paste, not a liquid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll put it in the microwave. Now, okay. every, I'm going to put this in the microwave numerous times for 30-second mm -hmm. increments. Now, I always put it in there for only one time before I mix, I mix the creamer in. So okay. 30 seconds. Let's see. It's all good. You're not used to this microwave. It's a little different from the microwave upstairs. Right, right this one has, but it's I alive. But it because this microwave's got cute little eyes and a cute little hand sticking out. Right, so right. I'll allow the microwave messing with me. This is just our good old yeah. mic, mic okay. the microwave here. Yeah. The old mascot. Well, he's got a hat on too. Mm hmm. All right. Here. Stop that. There, there it we is. Go. So, anyway, oh, yeah. you can see now it's way more melted down. Now, what do I do? As I always add just about the same amount of creamer as I do juice. So, anyway, this is where it can get a little complicated, and you got to be patient and you got to be careful because if you're sloppy, you can get this stuff all over the place. Okay. So, you just want to be, you know, take it time. I mean, it takes time creating everything. Mm hmm. So, anyway, you just kind of mix it up, and it's not going to look like perfection you know the first couple times because mm -hmm. you know everything has to melt down and you have to stir it up quite a few times so and don't get anywhere because that could be a sticky situation <laughs> yes it can and if this kid's watching yeah i mean you don't want your parents taking your allowance away you know? right you know as if you're blessed enough to have an allowance yeah because right, you can see right now it's pretty dry so now we're gonna it, this is like putting more water in it by putting it in the microwave okay again, so and i was just gonna say so you don't want to put more water in it you just no no we're done with the water the okay out of, out of the picture so okay let's start it's definitely more liquid down now because, like I said, the microwave helps melt everything down. And now, as, as you can see, it's there's not as many little pebbles and stuff in here. You know, it's more it's smooth. Granule. Yep, yep. So, let's see. And so you said this could bubble over. You guys that are starting, you just want to make sure you always look through the microwave door and pay attention that you look at the top of the, the taffy because when it starts bubbling up, that means it's blazing, it's boiling hot, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure it doesn't bubble over. So if you put it in for 30 seconds and, like, the first 15 seconds, it's already, it's already ready, you know, you, you want to make sure that you, uh, you, pull, you, you pull it out before oh, wow. the 30 seconds goes up. So, okay. yeah. So anyway, That's now it's like really, icing. really, yeah, now it's like really fluid-like. <laughs> so you could definitely burn yourself on this. You got to be careful. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right now I'm like, uh, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but my hand is like blazing hot right, right now. The right. bottom of this is like burning hot. It's almost okay. like it's touching a burner on a stove. So I want to ask, yeah. are gloves a necessity for you? Um, well, I mean, if you're going to be, you know, giving it out to anybody else, it's mm -hmm. just, uh, it's nice to have, you know, gloves on to keep, make mm -hmm. sure everything's clean and stuff. So, so if you're in here, where are you going to get them? Well, you can ask staff. They should give you a pair, you know, you just got to mm -hmm. ask. But I mean, if they don't, don't get mad at them, you know, don't blow up or whatever. I mean, some, some staff, it depends on the type of person you're asking. I mean, they might right. not want to give you a pair of gloves, so. Okay, but. well, it's always good to use protection. It's always good to use protection. It's always good to use protection. Yep. So. so anyway, yep. All right, so I'll put it in here for another 30 seconds. Okay. And uh, we'll see. You got little bubbles in there. So what that means is it's, it's cooking up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this out. I'll show okay. you what I mean. Yeah, it's always better to you pull see? out when, before it gets too now dangerous. Now you see how it's kind of bubbly. And this is about as good as it's going to get, fluid white. Okay, that's so, looking pretty good. Yep. So anyway, now what we do is just stir it up a little bit and then have, let it sit. Before we do cool it off, you said it's looking a little too liquidy. So what is the answer to that? We'll just add a little bit more creamer to this, I guess. To thicken it up here? Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And then you said for how long do you want to let it cool off? Typically? Um, well, I mean, it depends what you have to work with. I mean, I have mm -hmm. ice. I've never used ice before um, mm -hmm. because the unit I was on uh, doesn't have ice in the unit, and it's you can't just go down and get ice anytime you want. So, right. you know, I'd have to let it air dry or use the fan. Thing is, is when you if you're gonna slam it like I am at the end to pop the taffy out, mm -hmm. um, if you scrape the edge edges, it helps this pop out easier if okay. there's nothing on the side. So, we do have the ice. All right, there we go. So okay, yeah. well. I once, think. once it's ready, we'll pop it out of there, and I know that'll be fun to watch. So, Welcome back. We're here with Jeremy. We're about to see the finished product of the taffy, huh? So I see you have two bulls here, and yes. uh, which is which here? Okay, well, this bull right here is the stuff that they brought me from the outs. You open this this is the Kool-Aid and the creamer that they brought in. Okay. This is what it looks like. 
And I had a friend in the back um, wiggle it a little bit, so I'm not going to have to really slam this much to get the okay. this out. The one that I that's sitting over here mm -hmm. is from the commissary stuff that we get off commissary. This is the creamer and the cherry fusion juice that we can buy off commissary from here. It's roughly, you know, one's a little darker red than the other, but they're two different mm -hmm. things. So, but they're okay. both same flavor, both cherry, and they're both delicious. For a lot of kids, this would be the funnest part. So, all right, well, I'm gonna let you take it away here. So okay. we're going. Well, I'll just do the easy version right here. Uh huh. Oh, this wow. This has already popped out. So, this is what it looks like. Flip it over, and here's your cat's car. Okay. Uh, this is what you got to do when it's still connected to the Okay, try to stand back. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Wow. Another cat. Wow, that is that smells so, good too. Officially, there's two cute little boogers that taste very delicious, and make sure you don't eat it all at once, otherwise you will become a diabetic. Okay, <laughs> so so here we'll have our uh, official taste tester come on up here. I'm back. What's going on? How are you guys doing today? Oh uh, well, 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 well. What do we have here? Is there a little piece off here? So that's this is the uh, outside like store bot. It's like a red frisbee. Whoa. There it is. Oh, thank you, sir. What's the verdict? Sweet uh -huh. and serene. Wow. I'm glad I have all my teeth. Okay, well, that's what we were hoping for. That's what we were, that's what we were going for here. It's really hard to talk with this. Okay. <laughs> this is the canteen bot. Yep. Mm. Okay. It's much harder. Mm hmm. But. <laughs> uh huh. It's not like a burrito, I can just wash right. it down. Yeah, uh, you, you gotta. It's forcing your, it forcing you to enjoy the taste. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm not gonna lie. This one, better texture. That one, wow. it's got better flavor. And I think it's just because you can't it's get that on the commissary. Yeah. Either oh, way. Thank you. Yep. Classic. Classic. Yeah. Oh, what do you say? Let's spread. Let's spread. Let's spread. All right. Let's Come on. Yeah. Here's some smart recipes you might want to pick. Microwave magic, microwave magic, microwave magic, microwave magic. If you do not want to. Inside show, inside show, inside show, latest fashion. Cooking and singing, comedy sketches, microwave magic on the inside show, the inside show.